Uh, we're start by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawu by Hashim Yahushai, Kohala Yahawu by Hashim Yahushai, by Hashim Rakakodash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Mills from the top of this doctrine of truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. By Hashem, in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, we know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he's the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. By Hashem, in the name of the Rakak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or other spickle bird looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh by Hashem and Roshai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went all following after false gods and false idols, not following the laws such and commitments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent to captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to elect, the ones that would be quickened with the understanding and would be able to understand that we're in perilous times, okay? Very dangerous times. But the Lord has given us the wisdom to be able to know that these things are coming. And one of them is World War Three. OK, World War Three is already being played out. It's just that the missiles, as far as the ICBM missiles, just haven't been fired off from America, you know, to uh, Russia or Russia to America. OK, so the things um, that the Lord spoke about, that there shall be wars and rumors of wars. These things are happening. OK, so this lesson is going to be sent around this article right here. Um, this is breaking up too. So this is on uh, you know Twitter or X, right? This is breaking up, breaking up to eight dead after Israeli airstrike near Iran embassy in Syria. One of those killed is reportedly a senior IRGC official, Mohammed Reza Z Zahidi. However, this remains unconfirmed at present. Okay, um, Channel Thirteen Times of Israel, right? So if this does, if this did happen. Okay, far as this uh, leader of what Iran being taken out, okay, this is going to lead to what um, the least of the flock shall draw, draw them in. Far as the least of the flock, we, the least of the Edomite nations shall draw in, okay, the the other Edomite nations to come up and fight, okay, shall draw in what America to come up and fight because America is that great whore, and what Israel is that uh, pimp, okay, far as. Um, everything, you know, basically that, that is pushed out of what Israel, as far as their philosophies and their man on man, their, their anti sim Okay. All that stuff that's pushed out there is, um, is part of the agenda. Okay. Of Esau Edom to what have himself to be the most high and have others, you know, believe that he is the most high, but we're not deceived. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. And we know that the Lord is what's stirring up these different Kings to what fight one up against another. Okay, and in that, um, the Lord is letting us know through what the prophecies. So breaking multiple casualties near Iran embassy in Syria after airstrike. Okay, so they're getting busy over there as far as the things that are going on. Okay, so these things are going to be coming to America. Okay, as far as these different, uh, you know, different, um, you know, missile hits or these different strikes on these certain places, this is going to be coming to America. OK, but it's starting over there because the Lord said he would raise up uh, the heathen nations to come up and fight. OK. It says support for Hamas in Gaza increased from 57 percent to 71 percent over the past three months in the West Bank. It sits at 82 percent. Yeah, because as um, far as uh, Israel, Israeli, far as those fake, the fake Israelites or the fake, um, you know, the synagogue of Satan over there. OK, they are um, coming up against Hamas, which Hamas is part of what Iran. So they're fighting uh, one against another, okay? And that's going to bring what America to come up and fight, okay? To come up and fight in these different wars. But what's happening is Israel's being being uh, shown as what they don't have humanitarian because there is rules of war, the Geneva uh, war crimes, okay? And they have been attacking, you know, you're not supposed to attack hospitals and you're not supposed to attack uh, certain places, okay, and they're doing that. They're attacking hospitals, they're attacking schools, and then they're saying that, um, you know, then they're saying that there is, uh, you know, that there was people in there, okay, which is nothing but a lie, you know, far as different reports, okay? So, 
This is Jeremiah 50 and 45. Therefore, hear ye counsel of Yahweh that he had taken against Babylon and proposes that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the, in the land of the Chaldeans is speaking about uh, America today. Okay, which is what spiritually Babylon today. Okay, Babylon going into confusion, right? Against the land of the Chaldeans. So the monthly, monthly prognosticators, okay, the astrologers, okay, the ones on the left-hand side that are pushing the enchantments on the people. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. Okay, so again, the least of the flock is speaking about Israel over there, those small hats. Okay, and the Lord is going to make their habitation desolate. Okay, that place is going to be, um, you know, cleansed of what with the firing agent. Okay, and what we're seeing is a, um, you know, Esau Edom far as Amalek being exposed at the top. Okay, and draw who in uh, America to what come up and fight in these different wars. Okay, and this is what the Lord said uh, when the disciples inquire what shall be the end times. Okay, this is uh, Matthew 24 and 7. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Yeah, because all wars are international bankers wars. And whenever these devils uh, want to fight in war, what happens? The, the people at the bottom are the ones that get hit the most. They're the ones that are on the front line. Okay, um, and all their, um, you know, people you know, are getting killed, okay, because of Esau, Edom, you know, rape, rob, and pillaging in these different areas, okay? So the, the nation, um, far as um, America, okay, coming up against Russia. And the reason why Iran is, is important, because Iran is what a guard, or Russia is a guard, a riash, to what... Um, you know, is a guard as far as uh, Iran being Persia is a is a America Russia is a guard unto them. Okay, Ezekiel thirty eight and three, and say the said thy Lord thy power behold I'm against thee O God thy chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Okay, so Magog is God. Okay, um, the land of God. Right, so that's speaking about Russia as far as they're in that land right now. I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and thy army, horses and horsemen, and all that are clothed with all sorts of armor, and even a great company, Sakya, with bucklers and shields, and all of them handling swords. So that's what you're seeing going on. Okay, as far as uh, Russia has been doing trades with Iran. Okay, and Iran has a long time beef with what Israel. Okay, it's but the Lord has put hooks in thy jaws, as far as hooks in what Russia, as far as their, their leader, Vladimir Putin. Okay, to what come up and fight against America, and he has raised up. Far as our Lord has raised up, uh, Magog, which is Russia, to what um, have these Satan tools and to have these nuclear capabilities to be the Ryash, or the the chief of what the BRICS nations. Okay, and what Russia would be a guard on to what Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them and all them shield and helmet. Okay, so these are different nations that have been joined unto what the BRICS nations, which BRICS is an acronym for Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Which they have six nations, other six other nations that have joined, and other nations want to join. And one of them is what Mexico, which is right next to here in America, right? Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with them and shield and helmet. So Persia is Persia is what Iran today, okay? It says Gomar and all bands in the house of Togomar of the north quarters, and all the bands many people with thee. So the Togomar and the north quarters is actually speaking about Syria. Okay, where the land that they're in, because they're actually fighting over the uh, the resources. Okay, they're fighting over the oil. There's a there's the Nordstrom two and the Nordstrom one that run, you know, interchangeable. Um, you know, they, they they actually cross right there in Syria on the western side of Syria. So right now they're fighting over that land. So to, to who's going to have the oil? Okay, because at the top they're divided. Okay. It says, Gomar and all his bands, the house of Togomar, the north quarters, and the bands of many people with thee. So this is the point right here, seven in the NLT. Be, it says, get ready, be prepared, keep all the armies around you, mobilize and take command of them. Yes, so take command of them. So again, uh, uh, Russia is going to be a guard unto those different nations. A guard from who? America. Okay, and the least of the flock, which is those small hats, uh, Israel, uh, right, the synagogue of Satan. Okay, they're going to draw in America to come up and fight. Okay. This is Joel 3 and 9. Joel 3 and 9. It says, Proclaim me among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Okay? So let them come up and what? Fight. 
Okay, and what are they doing? They're going to fight to the death because these Russians, um, they know what, what happened to them before, where they got in buried. So they're going all out. Okay, they actually have uh, something to fight for. Uh, unlike America, Americans, they're not even in the war. They're in the war, but they're not in the war as far as their mind's not in the war. Okay, so the Lord's what having these different nations what, uh, prepare for what, uh, World War Three. Joel 3 and 9, say to the nations far and wide, get ready for war, call out Call out your best warriors. Let all your fighting men advance for an attack. Hammer your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Train even your weaklings to be warriors. Okay, and that's what you—that's what you see happening in China, where they're—they're they're training uh, their children on how to be able to load pistols and how to be able to survive uh, in the coming times. Okay, while here in America they're teaching our children the GBCs and and, and uh, you know. Um, Things like that and have, you know, strip clubs with, you know, uh, socket transformers, you know, uh, stripping at, at the at the kindergarten. OK, so this is the sickness that our children are learning. But meanwhile, in China, they're learning, they're preparing for war. OK, and a lot of those countries, when it says beat your plowshares into swords, so the plowshares going into agriculture countries where a lot of these countries were just, you know, in farming, agriculture. OK, but now they're what, um, you know, gathering or allying with with either America, um, America and NATO, which is the B system of the Roman Empire, the deadly wound being healed, or they're aligning with what Russia, the, the Ryash, okay, Magog or the Medes and what um, and the BRICS nations, okay, to come up and fight, okay? And it's the Lord that's actually doing that, right? And this war, okay, is going to be with what? <laughs> the field of fire. Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and field of fire. And the Lord has created the, the ICBM missile, the intercontinental ballistic missile. Okay, and that's going to be the, the game changer. Okay, as far as, um, you know, those coming from one end of the earth to the other. Okay, yeah, field of fire going into the splitting of the atom. And these atom, these uh, elements can be able to travel uh, the speed of light as far as the, the actual arrow, okay? And so in uh, Russia being that guard, okay, unto Iran, okay, and then drawing them drawing them in, they're going to they're gonna come up and fight. This is, um, what is it, Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13 and 7, Behold, I will stir up the Medes, which the Medes are, are the Russians today. They're in that land. Okay. Against them which shall not regard their silver as for gold, they shall not delight in it. So they're not going to re regard what the gold or the silver, meaning that they're not going to take any treaties from what America anymore because they're done being nice. Okay, this is the end. And what? Uh, Russia is actually sh setting up shop. Okay, as far as they, they believe they got a chance. Okay, but they're going to be broken too. All right, Isaiah 13, because they're nothing but a tool. Isaiah 13, 18, their bows also shall dash the young man to pieces. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of thy womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. So again, when these uh, military soldiers are over there in um, these different lands, okay, they're not equipped for the type of warfare that's over there in Russia. As far as, um, you know, them being in the cold, okay? Before they had, you know, they're fighting over there in what the desert, okay, which that's going to be another place where they're going to be. But also, uh, what about the winter, Okay. If you know if they try to you know run up on those different uh, those different platforms as far as Russia, okay, they're not going to be able to do it, okay, and that's going to be they're going to be broken down. So their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. So the bows goes into the um, you know the different uh, silos that they actually have, okay, that are that are coming out. The bows, what they're, they're shooting, the different um, arrows at the people, their missiles or their tanks, okay, and they're what going to ultimately what dash the young men to pieces. Okay, and they're not going to spare children because they're going to hit Yahabba Shema Shai's target. Okay, whoever what uh, refuses the Lord. Okay, Isaiah 13 and 19. In Babylon, the glory of the kingdom, the beauty of the Chaldeas, excellence shall be as when thy power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, and how Sodom and Gomorrah was overthrown, okay, was fire and brimstone. Okay, and Sodom means what? To uh, be burning, and Gomorrah means submerged. So Babylon the Great is going to be submerged in a, a great fire. Just like um, those small hats over there, too, because they're going to be hit, too. This is Ezekiel 38 and 18. It says Ezekiel 38 and 18. Okay. 
And it shall come to pass at the same time when God, okay, again, going into Russia, right, shall come against the land of Israel, said Yahweh Shimon Shai, that my fury shall come up in my face. So what his, the Lord's, what fury is going to boil over when Russia, again, is going to think an evil thought and what come up against Israel, those that are in that land right now. Okay, and that's when the Lord's going to uh, put on that that uh, fire, far as for uh, for Magog, okay, for Russia, because the Lord's just using them as a tool. When you read Ezekiel 39, it speaks about that more. It says, 19, in my jealous and blazing anger, I promise a mighty shaking in the land of Israel on that day. Okay, all living things, fish in the sea and the birds of the sky, the animals of the field, the, the small animals that scurry along the ground and all the people on earth, will quake in terror at my presence. Mountains will be thrown down. Clefts will crumble. Walls will fall to the earth. Okay. I will summon the sword against you. On, <laughs> I will summon the sword against you on all the hills of Israel, says the sovereign Lord. Your men will turn their swords against each other. Yeah. So again, eventually, um, you know, again, there's going to be a great warfare. Okay. A time of what? A uh, great sorrow. Okay. This is Ezekiel 38 and 22. I will punish you and your armies with disease and bloodshed. I will send the torrential rain, hailstorms, fire, and burning sulfur. So what's that? The burning sulfur goes into what the, uh, the, the Lord, first of all, coming with his direct energy weapons as far as in his hand, you know, okay, uh, the chariots of fire, but also what the Lord um, coming with those missiles, okay, to what? Take down, okay, those that oppose it. 23 and this way i will show my greatness and holiness i will make myself known to all the nations of the world then they will know that i am yahabah shemar shah yeah so in that day they're going to know yahabah shemar shah just like we have known him. okay because the lord created the west to destroy right and this is what we're supposed to do this is isaiah 13 and 2 it says lift up that banner upon thy high mountain exalt thy voice unto them Shake the hand that, that it may go into the gates of the nobles. So that banner is speaking about the scriptures, okay, showing our people what their transgressions, okay, on the mountaintops going into these different, you know, main street, you know, the, the main street. So you're able to what be seen, okay, and to be able to be that reasonable sacrifice to the Lord, okay. And we're supposed to what show our people transgressions, okay, as far as those that come up and ask about the scriptures, okay. We don't need to chase them down if they don't want to, you know, if they don't, you know, want to, you know, engage in things like that. Just let them go by. It's not for everyone. Okay. It says, I've commanded my sanctified ones. So who are the sanctified ones, right? The Israelites. Okay. The elect. I've called also my mighty ones. Who are the mighty ones? The mighty ones are those missiles. Okay. Because the Lord is, uh, those are gonna, the angels are going to be in the midst of those uh, missiles as far as they're going to hit their target. Okay. For my anger, even that rejoice in my highness, the noise of the multitude in the mountains is like, like as of great people, a tumultuous noise of kingdoms of nations gathered together of Yahweh hosts muster the host of the battle. So the Lord controls um, the battle. OK, and these are these different militaries are the Lord's armories. OK, as far as Iran, Israel, uh, Russia, America, those are all the Lord's um, artillery. OK, and he musters the host of the battle, meaning that he's the one that's gathering these nations to come up. Right. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hands. OK. Um, you know, the king's yeah, you know, the king's heart is in the hands of Yahweh and he turned it whatsoever he will. Okay, roughly paraphrasing that Proverbs twenty one and one. Let me read this in the NLT. Isaiah thirteen and four. Hear the noise of the mountains, list at the vast armies march. Yeah, because these things are gonna be coming in hot. It is the noise and shouting of many nations. I, the Lord of heaven of armies, has called this army together. They come from distant countries. From beyond the farthest horizons, they are the Lord's weapons to carry out his anger. With them, he will destroy the whole land. Yeah, so they come from a far country. So a far country like what? Russia? Okay, Russia is a far country. Okay, it can, but those missiles can be able to travel the speed of light and be able to get from, from Russia to America in 29 minutes. Okay, and it, be, it can be able to destroy the size of uh, Texas. Okay, Isaiah 13 and 6 in the NLT. Yeah, what does it say? The judgment on the day of the Lord. It says, scream in terror for the day of the Lord has arrived, the time for the Almighty to destroy. Every arm is paralyzed with fear, every heart melts. And the people are terrified, pangs of anguish, anguish grip them like the noise, <laughs> like those of a woman in labor. They look helplessly at the one another, their faces aflame with fear. For they see the day of the Lord is coming in the terrible day of his fury. In the fierce anger, the land will be made desolate and all the sinners destroyed with it. 
The heavens will be black above them. The stars will give no light. The sun will be dark when it rises and the moon will provide no light. I, the Lord, will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their sin. I will crush the arrogance of the proud and the humble and the pride of the mighty, ultimately putting down what Esau eat him, okay, and putting down what all these different what rulerships, okay, by coming with that great sword, okay, coming to put down all rulership and authority, right? And then that there's going to be what mass uh, casualties, Okay, so let's end it right here. This is Jeremiah 50 and 7. Jeremiah 50, uh, 59, Jeremiah 50 and 9. For I am raising up an army of great nations from the north that will join forces to attack Babylon. And she will be captured. The enemy's arrows will go straight to the mark. They will not miss. Yeah, straight to the mark. So uh, from the north, okay, a rush is in the north. Okay, and what they are, what gathering, uh, Russia's gathering the other nations, the BRICS nations, to come up and fight against Babylon, which is America today, right? 10. Babylonian will be looted until the attackers are gooted with loot. I, the Lord, have spoken. Yeah, this place is going to be spoiled. You, it says, you rejoice. What does it say? Babylon sure fall. You rejoice and are glad you are plundered by my chosen people. You frisk about like a calf in the meadow and nigh like a stallion. Yeah, so you've been able to live fat off our blood, sweat, and tears. But your homeland will be overwhelmed with shame and disgrace. You will become the least of the nations, a wilderness, a dry and desolate land. Because of the Lord's anger, Babylon will become a deserted wasteland. All who pass by will be horrified and will gasp at the destruction they see here. Yes, prepare attack on Babylon, all your surrounding nations. Let the archers, those archers are what? Again, those bows that are what? Firing off. Okay. Uh, firing off those missiles, right? Those ICBM missiles. Let the archers shoot at her. Who's the her? Babylon the Great. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. Shout war cries against her for every side. Look, she surrenders. Her walls have fallen. It is the Lord's vengeance, so take vengeance on her. Do to her as she has done to others. Okay? So this place is going to get the same uh, judgment that, that this devil has what done to others. Okay? It's going to be desolate. Right? And this is, um, let me get another one. This is Jeremiah ended right here. Jeremiah 49 and 20. Okay, Jeremiah 49 and 20. It says, Therefore hear the counsel of Yahweh by Shimei that he had taken against Edom. Who is Edom? That's the so-called white man of today, the international bankers. And proposes that he proposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Teman are the smartest of what the of Esau Edom, which are what the, uh, the Germans, so-called Germans today. Right. Surely the least of the flock. Yeah. So uh, Israel, those small hats. Right. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Draw who? America and these other heathen nations to come up and fight. Surely he will make their habitation desolate with them. Yeah, they're going to be destroyed. OK. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall of the cry. The noise thereof is heard in the Red Sea. OK. And what is that? The noise of these different missiles firing off. OK. Behold, he shall come up and fly as an eagle. Who is that? Our Lord, you have a shot. OK, and spread his wings over Basra. So Basra was a capital city in Edom, and that would be referred to as America today over Basra. And, and, and at the day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in pangs. OK, so even the mightiest warriors will be in anguish like a woman in labor, meaning they're not going to be able to do nothing. OK, but the Lord has what our back far as um, giving us this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. OK. That the Lord is the one that's bringing forth the judgment. So it's Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals and the fire and bringeth forth the instrument of his work and created the waste to destroy. So the, the smith that bloweth the coals, speaking about the scientist that created the missile, like J, J, J. Robert Oppenheimer, okay, created the atomic bomb. And now you have what knowledge increased. Now you have the ICBM missile, the same twos. OK, and bringing forth the instrument again, that's the, the ICBM missile and his work, a waster to destroy, destroy what? Babylon the Great. OK, and anyone that opposes the Lord. Right. 17. No weapon against it says no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh Shema Shai and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai. So with that. Kohala Yahweh Ba Shimmy Shai Ba Shimmer Kakoda Shalom to the Lat Kwame Shalom.